Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, stick with me here. This is a thin line I have to walk. I'm going to have to say certain terms like racism, monkeypox, and COVID. I hope I can do that. What I'm trying to do here is present an, an honest, truthful look at been pointing out other people's questionable behavior and ethics. Um, there's a list of, there's a, when, when I go to monetize a video, I have to go through a checklist and it says, you know, does it have any violence? Does it have any adult language? And you can get, you can check up to, I think, four of these, four or five of them. And uh, I usually check quite a few of them. And there's this one that says, uh, enable it. Enabling dishonest behavior, and then it goes on, if you tap on that, it explains what that means. And there's a thin line you can walk, <laughs> where you can kind of joke around, or when you point out somebody else's dishonest behavior, say like uh, Trump and uh, China, the, the China, where the where he says the, the virus came from, and his views on that. Pointing out somebody else's dishonest behavior. So there's a thin line I can walk here. All right. So this this whole thing, this comes down to Tucker Carlson once again. This 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 d bag uh, came up with this ridiculous. I'll, I'll link down below. Okay. Right off the bat, he, he says he he slips this in. He says something about monkeypox and being renamed because it's racist, which I never heard of before. And he says it really quick. He kind of slides it in there kind of offhandedly, you know, and you get the feeling that he kind of, he, he's kind of smirking at this and agreeing with it, uh, condoning it. I'll get more to that in a second because that's what this video is actually about. So then he goes on and he has a contest because he wants to, he, it's a cute little contest where he's going to, he has his uh, viewers rename Monkeypox. And the winner is, I don't know if I could say this, but I'm going to have to, Long COVID, a play on long COVID. And I was going to do a video. Once again, the word schlong. You know, I've talked about this in, in other videos where Trump supporters I know personally were talking about schlong this and schlong Hillary and schlong that. And then I looked it up and there's a history of Trump using the word schlong and their, their whole uh, juvenile, insecure I mean, they, they think it comes across as masculine, like I could talk about my, my, my man parts. Behold, my wonderful man parts. And, you know, when you really think about it, when you're truly a man and alpha, you, you, don't, you don't need to say stuff like that. You don't, you don't say stuff like that. It's, it's more juvenile and insecure to, 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 you know, my previous video, the truck nuts. There's a prime example. You know, when you're secure, it, it's really a... The flex really isn't what they think it is you know, when they, 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 they talk about their man parts. But that's, that's not even what I'm going to talk about. I got caught up in this thing about, you know, I never heard that monkeypox was, uh, that some people thought the term was racist. So I looked it up. And there is a big push. Even, uh, I think there's a lawmaker in Connecticut. I'll have links down below. Lawmakers in New York that want to change the name. Okay, so I looked into this. You know, where? What's the history of of how monkeypox was named? You know, and I came across several articles that said that that in the title, they said, uh, you know, kind of the his, This is the history and why why people think it's racist, but they never really got down to it. They never really explained it. Uh, the closest they came to it, they compared it to AIDS. And how that became stigmatized as a uh, gay disease, which it is not for the YouTube, YouTube algorithms. Once again, here I am not enabling dishonest behavior. I'm pointing it out. Okay, so I actually came across how monkeypox was named, and that that's really the the point of this whole video to get it out there because I didn't know, and I think it's interesting information. And Honestly, this is the point too. I, I don't believe it's racist. You know, I, I'm a you know I, I consider myself a hardcore liberal, progressive, tree hugger, uh, you name it, and uh, I don't think it's racist. I know I think they're kind of overreaching on this one. It was actually named because it was discovered in a uh, group of monkeys in a research facility. Thus, the term monkeypox. Um, 
you know there is a bit there's a bit of a, a link where a lot of the cases it, I'll have the, the the CDC history of the name down below that uh, a lot of the cases came out of I think Central Central and Western Africa but that's the closest link to uh, one race of people or another you know I, I was looking you know with people wanting to change this name I was looking for some something really pointing towards a uh, racist connotations and I didn't see that you know the disease was discovered in uh, a group of research monkeys that's where it was discovered thus the term monkeypox to me that's accurate you know and if people twist that and you know that's on them but I, I, I just I can't agree with changing the name to me that seems uh it just doesn't seem right. It, you know, the, the truth of the matter is that's where it was discovered, and I can understand the link. You know, and what people do with that, how they twist it down the road, doesn't mean you should go back and change the uh, accurate, well, you know, if it was discovered with in, in this, this research facility, that's, that's accurate. That's where it was discovered. It seems logical to me. So this is something you wouldn't expect. Uh, I, 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 I don't think it's racist. I don't. And, and more than that, I don't think they should change the name. Uh, I think if you keep running around, if you start doing this, running around complaining about, you know, it almost seems like the racism is more in their heads than it really is in reality. You know, they see the word, they see that word, and automatically their mind goes to a group of people when that's yeah, the, the truth of the matter is it, that's not how it was named you know if the if it I can't agree with it all right so this is uh it's kind of some people probably won't expect from me but I I don't think the name monkeypox has any racist connotations I don't I think if it's what people in their minds where they take it from there but I mean you can't I think it's more more of a concern people protecting themselves and getting vaccinated and then stopping the spread of it, then being concerned about the name of it or who that might possibly offend. I, I just, I don't see it. I don't see the relationship. I don't see, I don't see it. Let me know what you think. And I'm going to talk in the future about Tucker Carlson and his obsession with schlongs, his juvenile, insecure need to constantly talk about his man bits or man it's man parts lady bits <laughs> all right you guys have a good wednesday